Hallo und herzlich willkommen zur Spiel 2024. Es ist Sonntag, wir sind immer noch frisch dabei. Hello, Bouncer. Yeah, good day. Uh, we're here at the uh, booth of, uh, what was it? Uh, Radio, Radio Retro, Retro Future. Future. Yeah. This is the company. And we have uh, some books you want to showcase. Uh, you're an author and uh, you wrote some Yes. Uh, books? Uh, yeah, uh, it's a series called The Association of Ishtar, which takes place in the alternate 19th century niche anomalies are opening up. Uh, and these are being investigated by the Association of Ishtar, who write their reports down in short stories. And I use those short stories as inspiration for the bigger books. Um, and the fun thing about short stories is you can actually use them uh, as a resource for your players in game. Yeah. Um, And uh, yeah, that's gonna it's a new game, Nightwatch, which is inspired by this world that I just described. Yeah, that's what I want to uh, highlight because those are the books with the short stories, but they're mostly the foundation for, not, not exclusively, you, you can just read the books. Like, okay, yeah. I have fun yeah, with them, absolutely. okay. Yeah, the books were first. Yeah, yeah. the books were first. But if you wrote, uh, read the books and said, oh, that sounds interesting, I want to uh, have fun, I have my own fun in this world, Now you can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's been a demand very early on for a role-playing game, uh, even a war game. Um, so we'll see what we'll do in the future. Like this is my first uh, game. Uh, so, uh, but there's there's a lot of interest by other parties or to do things with this uh, setting already. So we'll see where that goes. Um, right now, I focus on the role-playing game. Um, so I. Creatively, I can work more on, on characters, kind of factions, like what would get, what, what do people want to play, what do people want to see. Uh, so I'm also very curious the stories that people will make with this, um, because and here is where my YouTube channel comes into play, Radio Retro Future on YouTube. Go check it out. Um, where I also make lore videos for people who are interested in this. Um, so I made a YouTube series called the Steampunk Beginner's Guide, which was mostly about the costume culture associated with steampunk. Um, but my definition of steampunk is cyberpunk in the past, and that's just something the costume community does not do. Um, so uh, I started like writing my own stories, um, also for as examples for like, well, this is how you write, well, proper steampunk, because most uh, steampunk books you see is actually fantasy with a steampunk skin. Um, so uh, I, I want to learn people to make a separation on how do you write good cyberpunk in the past as what my definition of steampunk is and uh, that is what Nightwatch uh, is all about uh, and it's a multiverse because uh, I want people to create their own worlds and the idea was that the association of Ishtar would be the outsiders looking into these other worlds well that hasn't been realized yet but people are thinking about Uh, the main world itself, which is code named Atlas, because uh, it's all parallel versions of Earth, so they have code names. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what they're doing on our Discord, and, and people are developing like their own vehicles, which are historically inspired. Um, and uh, yeah, th those strings will eventually make it all into uh, the role-playing game one way or another, or the lore videos, or any other uh, media that we uh, develop with our community. So that's, that's really the whole goal. And yeah, starting with a role-playing game, see what people do with that, where they're taking their stories, taking their characters, seemed like a good, good start. So this is the Associations Guide? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the beginner's guide, as it were. It's really to introduce people, uh, well, kind of like introduce people into role playing in general because it's very easy to get into. It's very easy to DM. I get a lot of compliments from DMs like, oh man, it's so fun to DM because you can actually focus on the stories you want to tell rather than having to like, oh, and oh, what was the exception for this situation? So uh, the DMs have a lot of control over the difficulty of the game. The players have a lot of agency because of how their skills are made. Uh, and they're very easy to understand for people who are new. Um, so, yeah, I, I've had uh, people who never played role playing and have a blast with this because, well, there, there, there's just uh, one way of, of throwing the dice, as it were. And, uh, yeah, that, that makes it very fun, quick. Uh, as for combat, uh, combat is something you need to be very careful with. Like, the players can do a lot of damage, but so can the enemies. So it's, it's very fast and you really need to, the idea is that you really need to investigate like the investigations in the books, you need to figure out like how do all these creatures operate, like what are their strengths, weaknesses, and then prepare accordingly.
It, it would uh, so it would be foolish to uh, ride in with blazing guns and see. You are uh, like I said, you are powerful. If you have the initiative, you can do a lot of damage very quickly. Uh, but if you didn't bring armor-piercing ammo to a robot fight, you've got a problem. Yeah. We know all that saying. <laughs> yeah. So that's really the idea that you know players uh, you know prepare properly. Uh, if that's going to work out well, we'll see. Um, I uh, hope uh, before January we get some play good playtests in, so we see how people act with it. Yeah, you, you mentioned January because that is when you're launching in uh, Kickstarter. That's uh, that's uh, what we're striving for. Um, like this is the biggest. I, I've done Kickstarters before, so I know how it works. Uh, but I never worked with manufacturers before, so that's something I'm I'm very like. Oh my God, if everything goes all right, and um, you know, I'm, uh, that's so wonderful about Spiel. Like everyone is so helpful, and uh, you know, I can ask them anything. And uh, you know, companies like Longpack also comes by your booth, like to see what they offer, and you know, you're kind of blown away by all the possibilities, like all the kinds of things you you have not even considered. Yeah. And you know, everyone here, like you can just speak to anyone at any time, and just it's just a great atmosphere. That sounds great. So, uh, Kickstarter campaign launches in January for the core book. That's right. Yeah, yeah, for the core rule book, indeed. So that's gonna be. Uh, you can already play the game. Yeah. Uh, we have a Discord community where people can play for free. They can also get a PDF for free um, on our website. We're gonna also have like PDFs for the cards that are associated with the game. They're optional, but still they are one of our main selling points right now. Uh, and of course, character sheets will also be on our website. Okay. Anything else you want to highlight to showcase or the tweak? Uh, uh, what, what can I highlight? Well, uh, I mean, the art speaks for itself. Uh, we've got an amazing illustrator, Johan Alexander. He also does our comics. Uh, there are so many ways to enjoy the association of Ishtar. If you're into lore, we have a YouTube channel with lore videos. If you're into steampunk, that's what my YouTube channel is all about. Uh, we've got books, novels, miniseries, um, and uh, yeah, there's just a lot. Of just there's not just a the game. There's like a whole community. I would say that's uh, something we'll keep in mind. That is, uh, here's the role-playing game. If I know, there might be the books. If you not just in the role playing game you can enjoy the books yeah. or if you into the whole lore you can enjoy the books the videos and or and all the role playing oh, game or everything yeah well so yeah um you, it's a, it's a, a massive project. Um, we're very curious to where it'll end up. Um, I mean, I never imagined being on Spiel with this. So, well, here I am. First time? First time Spiel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, the, the role-playing game was like, oh, that kind of happened like uh, five years in or something. But like after two years, uh, a writer I know, because I also did a podcast where I had like all kinds of steampunk offers. And one of them became uh, a game developer. And he was like, I want to make a role-playing game based on your world. Uh, so that's how that happened, yeah. Well, at this point, I wish you good luck with uh, all the work and hope it pays off. And uh, good luck with the Kickstarter and the role-playing game and, yeah, everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a long road, yeah. but uh, this is where we are now. So uh, we'll see. We'll see where it ends up. So, have a last good day here at the Spiel and thanks very much for the interview. Yes, and uh, good luck with your endeavors. Thanks. Uh...